blame it on baby by the baby. The baby has been busy in the last calendar year. He released his last album seven months ago. With everyone stuck in quarantine, the baby managed to knock out a whole new album. With criticism rising about the baby not switching it up, does he give us anything new with this one? How is it? Here's our honest review of Blame It On Baby by the Baby. Blame It On Baby by the Baby, man. Uh, did you know this was coming? Um, yeah, I, I've been lightly following it because he had released. I forgot which song it was. Uh, I think it was uh, it might have been either sad shit or I don't know whichever one. It, no, it might have been blaming. I don't know whichever one it was. He was like, yeah, this is gonna be different because I'm changing up my flow. So I ain't gonna lie, I was a little bit intrigued. <laughs> okay, let's see if that intrigue kept. Man, how you feel about this album artwork? I mean, come on. <laughs> <laughs> I, I guess this was shot like a couple weeks ago <laughs> but uh i mean it's simple i like the blue though you know blue's my color yeah but um you know i guess it's reminiscence of the time i mean i guess this is just what he was feeling at the moment so hey cool yeah shout out to him for wearing a mask correctly he actually has the nose part looking like it's actually narrowly bridged a little bit just that's a tiny right. bit that's right that's uh, right. so that that means the, the uh, mask is actually protecting uh shout out to the camouflage uh blue fruity pebble uh cereal uh do-rag and uh sleeveless uh vest yeah but uh it, it's a shot that's all it is man that's that's, that's all it is yeah. the floor this is uh the baby actually stepping out of what everybody gets annoyed at him for and trying to show a different side while at the same time trying not to ostracize his current fan base not sure he did a great job of that but that's what i felt he did that was a great way of putting it it's better than what i was gonna say I was just going to say, you know, baby being baby with a few little twists. <laughs> All right. Highlights, man. So, um, actually, Light Skin Shit is the first song I'll start off with. Um, I actually thought Future's... I don't know what's going on with me and Future right now. <laughs> I like what Future brought to the song. I, I actually hate saying that stuff out loud, but I, I give him credit when credit is due. I thought it was dope the way he came about, the way they talked about it. Uh, Talk About It was an interesting song. Um... I mean, I guess it's cool that your mom showed you how to use a rubber, I guess. Uh, but, you know, uh, anyway, uh, championship I thought was dope. It, it felt like it should have been a little bit harder, uh, but it was actually pretty cool. Um, drop featuring A Boogie in London on the track. It had some cool elements to it. I'm not going to sit here and say that the song was great. And after that, Nasty featuring Ashanti and Meg The Stallion was actually pretty cool as well. Uh, Meg went off. Um, I don't need anybody talking that aggressively when they're talking about doing power slams and dropping <laughs> women on their heads. Like, do you hear the passion in his voice when he's like, I'm chop you on you? I'm like, God, like, I felt the thud. You might as well have put the damn wrestling sound effects in there while you was aggressively spitting these bars about, you know, tombstone and motherfuckers and shit. But uh, either way, the song went hard, though. Oh, man. Uh, while we're on that subject, yeah. Uh, Nasty was cool, but I, the aggressiveness wasn't there. Um, <laughs> I actually like Pick Up with Quavo. I mean, it was actually really, I guess, the song that really got my attention in terms of, you know, the music and everything like that. So I thought that was pretty dope. Um, talk about it. It was interesting because, you know, I guess it went in a little bit about him and everything like that. So I got a little bit introspective. I like that. Um sad shit i actually liked a lot like i was like this is a dope song i mean he was he was like y'all want me to talk about some sad shit so i went and got a beat <laughs> and i thought that was pretty funny but dope at the same time and uh i actually like rockstar with roddy rich i thought that was pretty cool yeah uh so low lights I i'll piggyback off of what you just said sad shit is a pretty solid song i just uh, the reason why i'm mentioning it in the low light is if that's what you think is sad that's crazy to me. Mm, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. Like you, you talking about your ex girl don't want you, and like the way you talking, it don't sound like you want her either. So Facts. it just sound like you just want to hit. So it is what it is. Uh, can't stop to start the album off. That was a horrible hook. Uh, somebody should have stopped him when he was recording that, and were like, "Bro, we we need a better hook." Uh, most definitely, most definitely. Um. So uh, aside from that, uh, 
Rockstar from Roddy Rich, I feel like it dropped the ball a little bit. Um, I didn't feel like Roddy Rich was that bad on the song. I just still felt like it dropped the ball. And uh, nasty, the way it just came on. <laughs> Look, I'm just I'm and I'm just looking at this. I don't know how the young people are in the club, but I know when I was in the club, the whole thing is the drop. You want you want to have that dope drop in to where people have enough time to get to the dance floor to dance to the song that they want to dance to. Like, you know, when back that ass comes on, you hear that boom, 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 and then you know to get up and run to the dance floor before that joint <laughs> drop. You know, I mean, you know what I'm That's talking a good about, point. right? That's a great point. Like when you when you hear uh uh drop it like it's hot, you hear that doom, da doom, da doom, da doom, da doom. You know what I'm saying? You, you got time to get to the dance floor before you hear that, you know, when the crimps in the crib, my like yeah, he yeah, gave you right. no time. Yeah. to get prepared for the song like the song just starts and he's already rapping it's just like bruh <laughs> like it, it sounds like yo you you approach your rap career like every quickie in the history of everything Damn. like everything has to be done fast mm. you know what i'm saying and I, I get it he likes the whole surprise angle and you don't know when i'm gonna come in but bro by the time they get to the dance floor, you halfway done with the first verse because you didn't give them no time to build, no nothing. And then on top of that, I thought Amazing Grace was just a bad way to end the album. And overall, uh, the content, he still, even with the change of topics and, and stuff, he still ain't talking about much of anything. Like when people say they want to talk, hear you talk about some sad shit, I, I think they just mean they just want you to open up and be real and talk about some of like... You know, I mean, you ain't got to talk about shooting a nigga in front of your daughter. Like, first of all, that's whack. That's you trash. know what I'm saying? Super trash. And it's, yeah, it's like whether it was true or not, it don't make you more hard to me. I mean, maybe just some of the young cats. I'm just saying, I just want to hear about, like, man, talk about life. Talk about how it was growing up. I mean, yeah, you, you used to have to flick the, flick the roaches out of your cereal box. That was a quick reference. Like, think about, like, Ghostface, all that I got is you and things of that nature where people actually go into depth about how they grew up and stuff that you could kind of relate to whether you've been there or not because you feel it. And I don't feel like he ever gave us a real chance to seriously relate to him. Well put. Because I really don't feel like he opened up a change at all. Um, I mean, you know, he was singing on a couple tracks. Um, you know, he kind of switched up the flow here and there, but it was still, in essence, the baby. It was really nothing that much drastically different. And I I'm starting to think that he don't want to be different. He just likes what he's doing. And I guess his fans is going to rock with it as well, because like you said, he follows quick hit formula. There's really no kind of build up. There's not no kind of like any kind of mystery to his formula. It's just, you know, get that beat, get, you know, that ratchet ass topic and just keep on going at it and that's what i got <laughs> with this you know and you know he tried to you know switch it up here and there given the sad shit that's really really not that sad and um like on tracks like even with uh blame it on baby champion I, like jump with never young boy never broke again i don't ever want to hear that song again that's all i want to say about that one but on amazing grace i don't know why he chose that in the album that way <laughs> because it did not fit with the rest of the album it didn't feel like when it was over you were just like huh yeah that was it you did the huh <laughs> <laughs> so i mean yeah I, I i mean maybe i guess you know he should just stick to his own style because whenever he tries to change it up he still sounds the same so maybe we're asking too much of the baby maybe this is just him and that's it fair point Final thoughts, man. Uh, I, I kind of agree with you on the... Uh, I want him to continue to try new things. He could continue to do what he's doing, but if he doesn't switch it up at some point in time, I felt like people were just going to just gravitate on the other artists and move on to some other artists. He he has a window right now. He needs to take clear advantage of it because you ain't got no Cole, no Drake, no Kendrick yeah. to worry about. Yeah. And when they start... and Or no Big Sean, no Wale. So once they start dropping again... Yeah. Obviously, he's going to take a little bit of hit yeah. in the visibility area unless he's doing records with them. But I think the baby is talented. He just has to figure out a way to do these new sounds and change it up. None of his hooks actually sound like real hooks unless it's somebody else doing it. It just sounds like a part in the song that he just repeats the same thing. It doesn't feel like a hook. It's been like that since the beginning. So there's a couple of things that I feel like he could tighten up. But he ain't got to listen to me because I wouldn't purchase his music anyway. So, 
Yeah, man. Um, to the fans, I, I wonder if y'all appreciated this switch up. But as far as me, there really wasn't much more to like be found here in terms of what's new for the baby. Um, I do like some of the uh, songs on here. Not sure if I'll replay them, but I do think that he has um, the formula for people who just want to, you know, have a good time, get hype and everything like that. I'm not 100 percent with all the subject matter that he talks about in here because some of it is very questionable for me. But if you like the aggressiveness of what he's talking about and everything, I, I guess that works for you. But there still wasn't much of an upgrade on here for me final grade man look uh out of respect for the fact that the baby is actually he's he has some bars throughout this project i loved all the wrestling references uh even though they were super aggressive he was choking the shit out of you while he was spitting it uh it still sounded dope and uh some of the songs were actually dope make the stallion gave a really dope verse future gave a dope um you know, feature here, uh, Jetson made. Uh, I don't know what he did on the song, but that song was dope to me. So uh, overall, man, I'm going to give it a dash. I think the baby does have talent. I, I, I'm glad he changed it up a little bit. I do feel like it was a failed attempt, but there is some dope stuff up here. Will, will I listen to it again? Probably not. I don't want to waste my time. I'm not even going to lie to y'all. But if you like the baby, I feel like this deserves a dash. Yeah, um, I agree with you. I'm going to give it the lower end of a dash just because I feel like he's stuck in that formula, but it works. It works for him. So, I mean, he's he's staying consistent with his sound and with his fan base that he, he has uh, accumulated and everything like that. Uh, and I do agree with you. He does have bars here and there. Um, I still want something more on the sense of the intro from the last album. I would love to hear the baby rap like that through a whole album but i don't know if i'm gonna get it but if we do it'll be nice but i don't think i'll come back to this one i mean there's some couple songs here that i can just get hyped to you know but other than that that's it <laughs>